Hi. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to lesson 4.1, where I said I was going to do the rectangle tool in lesson five, but realized that I had forgotten the other line tool. So this one is about the freehand line tool. So we left off with this one, the straight line tool. Well, any triangle over here indicates that there is a tool set of a variety of options within that function. And this one is a freehand line tool. So you're not limited to straight lines. You could sit here and left click and pull this around and go up in the air and come back down. But the moment you start crisscrossing around the horizon line, it has no idea what your intention is. It thinks, well, do you want to go up in the air? Did you want that down on the ground? How do I fix it being on the ground here, but being three miles away from you on the horizon and then up in the air and back here. So that's why it might do things like this where it glitches. If you want to be more precise in the rendering of a freehand line in this environment, you ha it really helps to do it on a flat surface. Like, control Z, get rid of that. Like this one that we drew over here. So if you zoom forward to this, you can freehand line draw on this like it's a piece of paper. And you can do some cartoon characters. You can do a snaking rabbit here. And then you guarantee where that drawing is. It's flat on that surface. If I try to do the same thing out here in the environment next to it, and I freehand that, and I'm literally trying to kind of copy the shape of that thing. There, and come over here. It may or may not be vertical and it may or may not be all in the same place. Yeah, exactly. So SketchUp is a great tool for optical illusions because when I come down like this, it actually looks like uh, somewhere around here, it looked like it was what we drew. But then we realized when we orbited around it that it was actually stretching out on the ground. Um, so the freehand line tool can be a lot of fun, but it's very particular about um, uh, how it wants to understand what you want from it. So I could maybe freehand a shape around here and come back around and connect it there. Okay, I was lucky on that because I did cross the horizon line, but it just assumed that since I connected it here and I ended here that it, I wanted it flat. But what happens if I start here? and I went up above the horizon line and I ran the horizon line a little bit and I came back down. Yep, okay. So as long as you start somewhere and end somewhere that's relative to your starting point, maybe you'll get what you wanted out of that. 